become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Yesterday I had the great pleasure of interviewing UK classic bodybuilder Liam Kelly. With currently over 56,000 followers on Instagram, Liam Kelly has graced Instagram pages displaying his thick, rugged and Herculean physique. Describing himself as the average Joe, Liam wishes to inspire and motivate average working men and fathers to develop strong and masculine physiques. In this first interview with Liam, we talk about his early bodybuilding days and he describes how he developed his rugged physique naturally at first, uh, depending on Reg Park's 5x5 method almost religiously. You can clearly see his transformation here from his early 20s to his mid 20s, especially in the photo from the left and in the middle. And um, his natural transformation is rather remarkable, I have to say, and it's described in great detail today. It's very loud, though. Maybe you want to drop the volume a bit. Oh, I just load them. That's better. Soon. How's it going, mate? All right? Yeah, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Oh, sorry, it's actually not live. I'm just recording it, is what I mean. That. Oh, right. Sound, I. Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible at uh, like social media, like stuff like Skype and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, I've got no clue. You know? Oh. Say you're terrible. You, you you downloaded it pretty quickly and sorted it out. So it's yeah, right. so I suppose I, I already had it. I was like, I've already got, I've already got it. Like, oh, but I needed to download it again, you know. But yes. I already had a um an account, you know. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I, just, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Um, you too, mate. You too. I think you've got an awesome page, you know, and a YouTube channel and stuff. Like great, you know. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure to, to be on, you know. Thanks, man. And uh, I think you're um, you're you're a pretty big inspiration to a lot of people. I mean, you got more than fifty thousand followers, from what I understand, on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. I um, I just try to do me one thing, like really, uh, you know, I'm just like an like a normal lad. I go to work, I come home, uh, train, you know, um, and just try try to do the best I can. Um, but like I say, just like an, an average Joe, really, like a normal lad, you know. Um, so and that's basically like that's what I love, I, 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 and that's what I like to try and and um, in I, I love to try and inspire, mm -hmm. basically, just like normal lads, you know, who who got like you know everyday jobs, you know, and, and stuff, and they'll, they'll go to work and maybe find it hard to motivate themselves and, and find the time to train and stuff like that, but. I'm trying to get it out there that you can do, you can be, you know, you can work yeah. and you can train and, and you can sort of make it happen. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's what I, I love about um, Instagram and stuff like that. You, you can actually put it out there and, and, like, and inspire just sort of normal normal lads to, to do it. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I can relate with you 100%. I'm a father, got two children. Oh, man. man. Uh, work. Yeah, I mean, man. It, I can relate with you 100%, and this is what I mean by you inspire people, not just young lads, but even us, um, yeah. men that are in our middle ages, having to work, having to support the family. Yeah, and, man, yeah. And, and that's, the, that's the number one thing. That's the, that's the number one thing. You, everything for me is is evolved around, like, me, me son, you know what I mean? Like, Declan, like, I want to... To make things happen like for him and I and I want him to look at me and think, you know what, my dad um he came from nothing and, and he's he's made something, do you know what I mean? And and, and that's what I, I want as well, you know. Absolutely. Um, that's what a so, that should be like. They should be a role model. That's it. That's it. And uh and and again, that's what I wanna to sort of push out there with, with Instagram as well, like you know, you can be an average Joe, you can come from nothing, you can come from council estates and stuff like that. But, you know, if you put your mind to it, you know, you can you can be somebody like, you know. Yeah, man, like, I respect that 100%. That's awesome. Definitely, yeah. man. Definitely. All right, man. Shall we start with a Q&A then? Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I've got um, 
eight questions myself, actually nine. And then I'm going to move on to the uh, pages and pages of uh, Q&As that I've got printed out from, uh, from all your fans. Yeah, um, man. I don't expect to cover all of it, um, depending on our time tonight. But um, either way... We'll, just we do, we'll do another one. We'll do a few. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll just continue. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing the same thing with Joel. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we still haven't uh, finished. There's just so many questions to get. Yeah, so. man. All right. Well, let's get straight into it. I'm very curious always about... Um, so you've told me about yourself a little... You want to tell me a bit more about yourself? Um. So... I mean, I come from a like a, I'm up, I live up north in the UK, um, in a town called Newcastle. Oh yeah. Uh, I work. I do rope access for a for a job. I'm a rope access rope access technician. Mm -hmm. um, you've probably seen this swinging about, hanging around on buildings and stuff, you know. Um, you know, so I do that, and then obviously after that, then there's the bodybuilding. You know, it's basically it's just like. For me, it's like a hobby, you know, bodybuilding. Um, that's basically it, it's it's a hobby that's sort of well, not at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I, I love it. It's like it's my passion. Um, but I, I mean, I suppose it's, it is. It's pretty much just a, a sort of a, like a, a hobby that I that I absolutely love. It's like it is my life. But obviously, at the minute, it's like. I mean, I don't don't make don't make much of it and stuff like that, you know. Okay. So obviously, me works first, um, and then I'll, after that uh, is is the bodybuilding, you know. So I go to work, come home, and then it's then it's like the gym time. That's when it's that's when it starts. You know what I mean? Um, but I that's what it is basically. Like obviously, me works first, and then the bodybuilding. Um, and, and that's pretty much it to be honest like, with, with myself you know obviously I've got my boy uh, who I see on a weekend you know every 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 other Friday and then on, on the weekends you know I see him and stuff like that and, and basically that's that's basically the, the what it's like for me yeah. um, that's me in a nutshell really work me hobby me gym and then and my son obviously you know, you know? Um, alright alright so um, now let's rewind a bit. What got you into bodybuilding in the first place? What what inspired you to be, to to take up bodybuilding? Um, I've I've always been I've always been active, you know, like since I can remember. Um, I've always been into sports, things physical, you know. Um, and basically, like that's where that's where I sort of excelled most, like you know, through school and stuff like that. I was never very uh, like, academic. And things like you know maths and English and science and stuff like that, you know, yeah. I just didn't like it. You know what I mean? And um, but I've always excelled in sport. You know, like um, things like running. Um, I was always on the running team at school and that. And uh, uh, rugby played rugby, and then I think I mean I think I was like I mean it before, even before that, uh, I think I was about five or six. I started doing um, gymnastics. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So like, even at that, like, you know, five, six, seven, I can remember going into the gymnastics um, club and being able to do rep out pull ups. You know, like eight, ten reps of pull ups. You know, like. Um, How many years and, were you doing gymnastics? If you don't mind me asking. I was. It was about four or five. Um, that is awesome. But it, again, it was just sort of like. It was something, I mean, I started doing karate with my brother before that. And then about, like, my me, me mother said I didn't like it. So she started, started with um, gymnastics, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I've always been into things like that, like, you know, watching, like, karate shit and, like, you know, like, ninjas and stuff, like, doing, like, backflips and, and whatever, you know, like, acrobatics and stuff, you know. I've always, always been into things like that. Um, so I loved it. I loved doing it, you know. And, it, and obviously it was physical. And I, I think probably, I, I, yeah, I would say like the gymnastics was the um, the, the start, and mm -hmm. then obviously I, I went to school and I was like I was running and stuff. I was always on the running teams, um, and it just went from there. And then I was I was about fourteen, and I started boxing and I was boxing. 
for a good few years. Um, and I think I was about 19. I got my jaw broke. In a, I was about 19, 20. I got my jaw broke. And then I had two operations on my jaw. And then I thought, you know, like, I, I don't really want to, to do boxing much now. Yeah, but that it carried on from there. Like It was like the, the physical training and stuff like that I did from boxing. I kept kept it up, so I was doing a lot of cardio. Still, I was running, and I was doing like boxing training, and but then I started getting more into weights. Um, I started like lifting more, uh, more regularly, and then and then I, like, I, can't, I honestly can't remember how I came across it, but I came across Reg Park on the internet. Yeah. Um, obviously I knew who Arnold and stuff was, you know, um, but I had no idea that they were like connected, you know, um, until I started reading about it. Uh, so. I, I can even remember running with my friends, like thinking, like talking, uh, seeing, you know, like like Arnold's class and stuff like that. But I wouldn't want to get that big. I would like, do I still want to sort of keep lean and stuff like, well, like keep keep up the running and cardio and stuff like that. But then it just changed. I seen Reg Park on the internet, and I was like, like wow, like he looks like Hercules, and, and obviously he played Hercules, but his is him, like his physique to me. Is the absolute ideal physique for like a man. Like he looked like not like a, nothing could knock him off his feet. He, he looked like strong and rugged and like do, do you know what I mean? Like he didn't look over the top. He wasn't too massive and stuff like that. And then I started reading more about the um, his training principles, like training three days a week, uh, full body training and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm training at the minute. I was training six days a week. I was doing loads of running and cardio. Um, so it was a bit of a completely different to, to what I was doing. Uh, but I thought, you know what, like, I would love to look like him. I, like, that's the physique I would love to look like, you know. So I started doing um, doing his type of training principles, like three days a week, five sets of five. Um, it was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, honestly, like, I, I mean, I was obviously nat natural at the time as well. Uh, and I, I was about, I think I was about 20. 223 when I started doing that. Um because like I said, I, I got my jaw broke was at like 1920, and then I started obviously just doing my own thing, kept training up, running and doing doing uh, more weights, but I didn't really have sort of like a purpose doing it. I, I was just doing my own thing type of thing. And then uh like I say, I, I started that about I was 22 or 23, and I was like I don't know, like, it was weird, like, I was doing it, and I, I was enjoying it, and I think I was about, I think I was, must have been about 11 and a half stone at the time, what and then, uh, I mean, I don't know what that is in pounds, but um, I think I was like, I, about 11 and a half stone at the time, I started doing the Reg Park training, and then, literally, like, just off doing that training, over a, like, a, like a couple of years, I got, naturally, I got to, uh, I was like 18 stone 10, like yeah. just from, from doing that, you know, and uh, that's how I know it works. Like, and, and that type of training principle is just, just is an awesome, like, like starting position for any, any sort of young bodybuilder coming up naturally as well, you know, um, and, and basically, like, that's how I, how I got involved with the bodybuilding. And then from there, I think I was like, I was like 25, 26 when I done my first competition uh, because I, obviously I, I just fell in love with like Reg Park's look and then I started from Reg Park. I started looking at more at like Arnold and like the, the lads from his era. Yeah. Um, obviously like Frank Zane and Franco and um, people like that, but also people from before like John Grimmick, uh, Bill Pearl. And they all had that similar type of physique, that like sort of rugged like physique that a lot of people don't have now. Because yeah, fair enough, but bodybuilding now is like it's it's massive, but it, it's to be honest, I don't really follow bodybuilders from today, even now, you know. Yeah. There's a few, you know, a handful, you know, but the physiques I love is 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 from and they always will be, and that's what got us into it. They always will be from uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, um, in, in that like golden era, the golden era, and that's basically 
what I follow even now. Like I say, I don't, I don't really follow body power. I don't like go like go to these expos and you know what I mean. Like fair play to everyone, like bodybuilders today. You know what I mean. But it's just not how I want to look. It's not what I want to pursue, and it's not like what I want to promote. Like, I want to promote that type of look. Like still like that type of rugged look that's achievable. Do you know what I mean? Um, so achievable to to average Joes, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I that's basically how I got into bodybuilding uh, through sort of basically discovering Reg Park yeah. uh, on the internet, you know. Yeah. Um, and I, I, and that's basically still my goal, and it always will be. Like that's what I want to to keep pursuing and keep promoting that type of like that type of look, you know. Um, yeah. So that's that's basically how I got in got into it, you know. And uh, so you mentioned you started off at 11 stone at about the age of 22, 23. Yeah, man. And you got up naturally to uh, 18, 18, 10 stone? It's 18, 10, 18, 11, yeah. So that's 120 um, kilos almost. Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. Um, How tall are you, if you don't mind me asking? Six foot. Yeah, about man. around about six foot, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um... I do look short up because I've got short legs and a long body, you see, so it looks a bit uh, but um the massiveness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh I so that's basically how I got how I got started in it. Just just discovered Reg Park and I thought like he is that is just a, the pinnacle of a man's physique from from in my opinion, you know, like and and that's what I wanted to uh, to achieve, you know. Wow. So, so yeah. How old are you now? If you don't mind me asking. 32 now. 32. And um, uh, do you mind if I ask, um, for how long were you natural? Just to understand at least the natural phase. Yeah, yeah. I was um, I was about 25, 26 before I started thinking. I mean, obviously, it's each, each to their own. But yeah, yeah. Be, I mean, be, before before that, I was... It got to the point where I was, I was just constantly thinking about it, like, oh, what if I did this? What if I did that? You know, and then I thought, you know what it is? Like, it's my body. As long as I learn about it, as long as I read about it, and, and as long as I'm sort of fairly knowledgeable about the things and do it the right way, I'm going to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Like, you know, and uh, I, and I've always been open about it. You know, I've never said I, I was natural and when I wasn't and, if someone says like, "What? Oh, well, what do you? What did you take?" and like this and that, I'll tell them, you know. And I think that's what it should be. It should like, a lot of a lot more people should be like that, and advise youngsters and advise like, people a lot more, um, instead of claiming that they're natural and they're not type of thing, you know. Um, but what I'll say is, is like you can get in an amazing, an amazing physique naturally, you know. You don't need to do. You don't if you're not competing. You don't want to compete on a serious level, um. You would, you shouldn't take it. You know what I mean? Because you can get to that level, like a, a, a physique, um, in, in an amazing physique, just from training naturally and, and doing things right. You know, yeah. um, but what I think is wrong is um, most of the lads now. I mean, I get a lot, a lot of messages like off lads, I've just started training. Um, what do I take yeah. instead of like how do I train? What do I eat? It's like what do I take? You know, and it's. Uh, Wrong approach. It's, it's crazy, you know. Um, wrong. Completely wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an accessory now. I always, this is what I think. It's like a gym accessory. You know, like you've got your training belts, you've got your protein powders, you've got your, your wrist straps, and then you've got your, your cycle. It's like, it comes to say, it's like the same. It's like, right, I'm starting the gym, get me training belt, I've got me, like, me gym gear. Right, now what do I need to take? Like, it's like, it's straight away, like, youngsters are, are thinking, looking at like bigger lads and bodybuilders and whatever and just thinking like to get like that I need to, I need to take this you know and it's 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 crazy it's crazy you know the, the, the forget about building that foundation um if 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 strength and size before like and that's what you need you need a good few years of, of building that's before you my, even consider that's what my question was was uh, gearing towards. Um, because I think you're absolutely right in that most kids today have the wrong approach. They do. You, you were just saying, you know, that um, 
it, it's very important to invest those first few years, you know, into a strong foundation. And that's kind of what I asked. 100%, 100%. Um, and it, it, it's, it's like everyone wants to get there quick. Now, you know, like everyone wants to get there like, straight away. Um, and and they forget about the, uh, the 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 consistency and the time and, and effort and hard work it takes to, to actually get a really good physique, like a noticeably good physique, you know. I mean, because every Tom, Dick and Harry in the gym now is like, I, would, I mean, I would say the majority of lads in the gym now is yeah. either took something or, or thinking about taking something, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, and that's probably in, in, in any gym, do you know what I mean? And, it, and it's a shame because that's what it's not about. It's not about that. Like I remember, I, like always, remember Tom Platt saying about about taking gear. Once he said, like, you know, that's just like the finished polish on the car type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, really? you know, all up. Like the the car is still like to see the Porsche or whatever, but like taking like taking gear is just that finished touch of um at the end type of thing. You know, and I, and I think that's quite true. Like. You know, you, you can build a, a really good foundation naturally um, by doing the right things. You know what I mean? Like, and, and learning about things, and in in your mind, like being prepared to be like, right, it's going to take us a while, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to read about it. I'm going to train hard. I'm going to eat right. Um, I'm going to stay consistent, and then I'm going to eventually build a solid, thick foundation. Do you know what I mean? Um, and that's what I think young youngins need to realise these days, you know, um, and and be more for that instead of like starting the gym, and then in six months' time thinking that like you know what I mean, like that they wanting to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's just it's obviously it's never going to happen. I mean, again, you could take all the gear in the world, but you know, if you're not doing things right, if everything else isn't in place, it's not going to make much of a difference. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> on your um, foundation now, which I, again, I always love emphasizing the foundation because um, that's really important. That's 99% of everything, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. You've mentioned your program was basically the 5x5. Five five. Yeah. Uh, because of Reg Park's approach being so, so much on based on compound exercises, my question is, uh, how would you say, or, or if you remember how heavy you were benching, squatting, and deadlifting at the very beginning, at 22, 23 years old, and four years later, when you were still natural and had gained 40 to 50 kilos in weight, how strong were you then? So people can really see, I, I want you to answer this, hopefully you can remember and answer this. Because I want people to really realize the capabilities of an actual bodybuilder to get to that foundation, what is necessary, what is really hard work. A lot of people think it's six days a week or, or this or that. But my belief is that you need to develop strength. To, uh, oh, definitely. Could you answer that? How yeah. was the bench, squat and deadlift at the beginning at 22 and, and in your mid-20s? Um, I remember... I've always been I've always been stronger on me on things like pressing than I have done with squatting and yeah. things. I've always had bother with my lower back, like since I can remember. Like I remember being like a youngster and, and having problems with my lower back, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've always been able to excel a lot more in, in pressing movements, shoulder presses, bench presses and stuff. Um whereas like squatting and deadlifting has always been a little bit of a um it's struggle, you know. But I remember I was probably bet like I remember me. I remember when I first got a hundred kilograms on a squat and then on a bench, you know. Um, deadlifting. I mean, my best deadlift is three hundred k. But when I was when I was starting off, it was probably like like. 80 to 100k that's when I, that's what I was I was first starting up you know um my squat like was similar it was like similar to that it was like 80 to 100 120 you know um my best squat say like 280 
Um, and my best, my best bench is two forty. But I remember this is in kg though. I got, I, got, I can't, I don't really, I can't really work out pounds, you know. Um, but uh, but anyways, I um, so at the start I was, I was benching like I say, eighty to one hundred, and I was, I was squatting. Again, this similar yeah. in depth. They were all pretty similar. Um, but again, building up to to like this is natural. Like before, before, uh, before I was taking gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was doing like two forties, two fifties on on a on a deadlift. I was doing. Um, 220 on the squat, and I was doing uh, 200 on the bench press, you know? I'm talking about um, people don't get. I mean, you can really get brutally yeah. strong. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, um, And same with pressing, overhead pressing, like 100K, two, uh, 220, sorry, 120 um, on, on a shoulder press as well, you know what I mean? Um, strong. And, and it's like... And that and that's the truth as well, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to pick myself up or anything. That's what I was lifting when I was when I was natural as well, you know what I mean? Like yeah. um so you can get strong. It's like you don't have to to think, oh he's he's doing two hundred squats or whatever like that. He's he's taking something because like you 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 can literally get strong as hell by doing the right thing. And like you were saying before, like a lot of people are seeing like like three and six days a week and all that now. Um, at the start, I think that's a bad idea, you know. Um, yeah. fair, fair enough, like pre comp, like pre contest, I'll up the the volume, the days, uh, and it's different because I'll train like five six days a week, you know. But at the start, being a, a natural who just wants to pack on the strength, pack on the size and density. If you're training six days a week and you're doing cardio and this and that, you know, it's it's wrong, you know. You need you need that rest, you know, you need that recovery time, you need to eat the food. I mean, I like at one point I wasn't doing any cardio, you know. I was literally training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that was it. No cardio, nothing. Um the only time I was like doing like a physical thing was in the gym, obviously at work, but uh I so like less is more type of thing, you know what I mean? When when you when you're trying to to build size, because I guarantee you as well, if you're training six six days a week and you're doing cardio and that, the majority of people probably won't be eating enough either, you know. Um, like throughout the day at work and I want to go to work and then they come to the gym, and they'll they'll not be eating nowhere near enough to 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 sort of keep to 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 grow. Do you know what I mean? Training that that the intense, you know. So like for me. Training three days a week, you know what I mean. Like that's like four days rest, you know. And like, and, and literally on that, and then rest days. Obviously, I work, but like apart from that, you're doing nothing. Do you know what I mean? And like, you just you're eating and you're resting and you're recovering, and like, and that's what people need to re, like to realize, you know. Training six days a week and, and doing different things like that physically, you you you're probably not going to be eating enough for one, and it's not going to be you're not going to get anywhere near the same progress because you're not getting enough recovery, especially when you're young and you you want to um you just come up and coming and you you want to gain size, and I think that's the most important thing. If you want to you want to like build a good physique, you need to build that like strength and density and size at the start, you know, and like, again that foundation, you know, obviously like like some stuff, but like you know like obviously the bigger the rock at the start. Absolutely. The more you can chisel it in, and the more you, the more you can uh, carve carve out. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. The better the finished product in the end. Exactly. So, exactly. So you've you've talked about now. Now basically, you've almost doubled, or even yeah, you could say you you doubled your strength, or even went two and a half times your strength naturally. And it's interesting that you mentioned your max bench was three hundred. After you, you started on gear, your max squat was 280 after you started on gear. And you know what? It goes back to that old um, thing I've heard from, from Arnold and everyone else. That that gear, as you said, 
it's just a finishing product. It gives you 10% at most. 10%. Yeah. That 10% yes. extra. And I mean, 250 natural in a squat or what, whatever, you, whatever you said it was, um, to 280, if you do the math, it's just an extra 10, 11%. It's not much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And exact, that's it. That's exactly it. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I think that the biggest thing I, I've noticed on taking, taking gear is um, not the, the increase in, in so much size in, in strength or whatever. It's the recovery. Um, I would say that's the biggest thing. Like you can train and train and train, and you'll not be as tired. You'll not you, you'll recover quicker. You know, um, in my opinion, that that's what that's how I feel. You know, like like th that's how, what I notice more than anything else is is the um, is the recovery. The recovery rate is is a, is a lot quicker when you're taking taking gear than than not. You know, um, but like you say, like for the for the size and strength. Because I've trained like hard and and, and, and focused on building a foundation, um, you've you've got that. Do you know what I mean? Like you've you've yeah. you've, you've that's in the bank. You've trained hard. You've been consistent, and, you, and you've and you've built that strength and size naturally. So that's going to be uh, that's always going to be there. You know what I mean? That that's like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, so so taking taking gear on top of that, like I say it, it hasn't made that much of a difference for me personally. Um, in strength and size gains, um, because I think that I've, I've I've trained right for me um, mm -hmm. for that for 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 a good few years. You know what I mean. Um, so that, again, that's just proof that you can actually do it. Do you know what I mean? And you don't have to take so much like so much. You know. Yeah. You know. I mean, even now, like from from what I've heard of other lads, what people are taking. Like it, it is like ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like for me, like I, I take very little. I take very little because, like I say, it's it's just sort of like the the finished the finished product. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, or like you say, if you're, if you're training, basically, right? What what I've definitely noticed is obviously when you're training a lot more, say five six days a week, you're doing cardio. Say say for instance, two hours. A day on top of that, and you're in, you're on a on a diet, you're dying, you know, you're in a deficit or whatever. Obviously, it keeps you like more anabolic, you know what I mean? Like, it keeps you from going into that like, anabolic age, you know what I mean? It like it helps you recover quicker, and, and that's the biggest thing I've ever noticed. It's not like I say, it's not been the size, it's not been the strength, it's been the recovery, you know, especially on like, a diet before like, before pumps and that, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you mentioned something there that reminds me of a conversation I had with Danny Padilla. He was telling me the same thing, how he built his foundation using compound exercises, training for, I think he said about uh, 17 years, naturally. Um, I'll probably release this uh, later on in my interview with him. But um, he said something very important that stuck with me. And he, he kept referring to gear as, as a helper. He kept saying, yeah, we took these helpers. You know, that's all they were to us. They were just helpers. Um, yeah. We all, all already developed a very strong foundation. And that was literally the finishing touch, these helpers. He kept referring in the interview again and again to gear as a helper. And I just stopped him for a moment and I said, you know what? I love how you call gear a helper. And he goes, but that's all it is. That's all it should be. It shouldn't be anything else. You shouldn't depend on it. And he told me that um, during his personal training consultations, he has so many kids asking him, what do you take? What's the cycle? Da, da, da. And he's like, you know, what are you trying to polish? You don't even have a physique. You have no foundation. And exactly. That's what, exactly. That's what this is for. You know, unless you're going to compete and you've got 10, 10 years of natural training behind your back, there's no point. And, um, exactly, yeah. man. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. you're right, and, and and that's a good, it's a good actually, yeah, a good, weird, uh, it's a good thing to call them like help us because it is, it's just an assistance. Like, yeah, when you when yeah. you when you build that foundation and when you've, um, you know, put in the graft and you, you know, over the over the years, and it, and you do see it decide to compete and whatever, yeah. it is, it's just that it's just that that 
that extra little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, it's not you. It's not the whole, the whole deal. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just that tiny little bit. Um, but you should never, ever like, like I say, you should never think when you're first starting out. But I'm hitting the gym. You know, I've got my program. What do I, what do I need to take now? Like, what do I need to? And it's it's a shame because that's that's basically what society is like now, and and I would say in the fitness industry is 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 that it's like everyone wants to get everyone wants to get there the quickest without thinking about the graft that it takes to to get there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, everyone um, take the easy the easy way, you know, fifteen minute workout so to speak. And, exactly, exactly. You know, just exactly. Months in, in six months and it's done. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like people again, like I will say something like, yeah, like them three, them three days a week work. I would say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you were in the gym like three hours, three and a half hours. You no, know? like I mean, it, I mean, it was hard graft, and like you felt physically just just wrecked afterwards, you know. Um, but I knew, I knew, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick at it, and I'm gonna just do it, and then eventually, I, like, it'll it'll happen, you know, and it did happen. Um. So like people are like, oh, you 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 should only train in the gym no more than an hour or forty five minutes and stuff like that. But to me, to me, like, it, I think that's nah, man. I, I think you, how can you how can you train for forty five minutes um, and get your the, the full potential out of your of your session? Even like I say, like I mean, I know like Dorian Yates not used to train like the same, you know, but I do, I mean, I don't know anything much about that kind of training because I've, I've, I've did a little bit, but it just wasn't for me, but I, you know, I'm, I'm almost certain that to, to, to get up there, you didn't train like that. I bet you was in the gym, smashing the, the shit out of sessions and that like for, for, you know, a couple of hours at a time when he was, when he was up and coming, do you know what I mean? Like same with Mensa, I heard that about Mensa, like, um, Mensa was like, obviously a massive, advocate of the same type of training mm. um but apparently like he used to train how the others used to train as well you know yeah, that's you know right. like two and a half hours like, like training the same sort of principles as is what was like sort of popular in the the mm. 70s and that you know um but then eventually he, he adapted this type of training do you know what i mean like for me like i've tried that type of training before like um going all out on one exercise and I mean really going all out on one exercise you know you do a few warm-up sets and then you've got that one set that working set where you you're just pushing it pushing it pushing it pushing it right and I I'll tell you now like I've, I've been beyond failure in in that one exercise and finished it but for you know I could do more I can I can like I can I can do more you know what I mean and and I want to I want to like stay longer but that, that could just be me, you know what I mean? Like, that, like I, I, I love volume, you know? Like, I say, like, that, that uh, them workouts, what I was doing, like, obviously, three days a week, you're in the gym, like, say, like, a good few hours. That's volume, do you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's volume in itself, you know? And I think, for me, personally, that's how my body, like, that, that's, that suits my body, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like you, you, you should, you, you like, as you as you as you sort of you're coming up and stuff like that, you should be in the gym. Like you should be smashing it. Like for me personally, like I say, it worked longer than like forty five minutes. You know what I mean? I think your body can can definitely take more than that. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, especially with the right, obviously with the the right amount of rest and as obviously if you're making sure that you're eating enough and stuff like that, like your body can take more. And I think training like the muscle more than once a week is right you should you, your body can withstand more than once once a week do you know what i mean yeah. and i think and, and and i think you'll progress more especially when you're just starting out training a body part more than once a week do you know what i mean um because i like I, I kind of think about worse like say if you were training like what any muscle sit out on like chest on a monday and then smashing it and then thinking shit i'm i'm gonna have to wait another week before before I train chest again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like I feel as if you can just do a lot more than um than what the 
that what people say nowadays. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I, I honestly believe, like, uh, like that's how the old, like, old school bodybuilders. Like, I could be wrong, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I wasn't there in them days. Do you know what I mean? But like, I've sort of come to the conclusion is they trained hard as fuck, right? They did. They just trained and trained and trained, you know? Like, they were in the gym in the mornings and then in the night times. Yeah. Even, like, say, I mean, some of them didn't train twice a, week, twice a day, but, like, a lot of them did not. But I think just just the sheer intensity of their training moulded that type of shape, like, that type of physique. Do you know what I mean? And, and I think a lot, that's why a lot of them looked the way they did is because of the training. I don't think it was so much about the diet in them days. Obviously, they sort of knew a little bit about diet and stuff like that and what to, to take out, to cut, and what to add in to, to gain or whatever. Uh, but I really believe that the way that they looked, like that sort of classical look, is, is more so down to how hard they train. You know what I mean? Because they didn't, they they weren't full of like filled full of science saying, "Oh no, you can only train forty five minutes. You should only train. Don't ever train more than an hour." You know, they were just like coming home from work, straight to the gym or whatever, training and training and training and just loving it and enjoying it. Do you know what I mean? There was no sort of set like, "No, this is how you this is how you've got to do it." They were just smashing it and training intense, and and like, I still believe as well, no one trained as hard as what they did. Like now, like you don't see it. They are, like honestly, you don't see that intensity. Um, now I just, you know, it's not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> I, exactly. Like it's not allowed if you try, yeah. even if you try to. I remember giving an example once. Uh, I was just doing reps for four hundred in the in the gym for the deadlift. You know, it's trying to do um as many reps as possible, and um. The gym instructor comes up to me and says, "You're disturbing everybody." But that's it. That's it. I. That's it. And um, yeah. and I look at him and I said, "What?" And he's like, "You're making too much noise." And I said, "Well, what the hell do you think? This is 400 pound deadlift. Do you think it's gonna drop like a feather? It makes noise. You try and lift 400 pounds. I, I quit the gym immediately." It's mad. It's that's that's it's crazy, man. That's you see? You know? Yeah. 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 Um, not being able to like, I mean, to be honest, like, I, I mean, I, I don't like scream and scream and scream on and all that. Like, nah, but you gotta put in some. You've got to, you've got to put in, you've got to put in. You can't just silently get up and deadlift four hundred pounds without make, not making a little bit of noise. Noise, do you know what I mean? I mean, there's weight. Yes, I look, you know what I mean, or whatever. But like, <laughs> but I think that's like, like a lot. It's just basically. The industry now, isn't it? It's just obviously it's molded and changed and stuff. Um and it's a shame really, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. uh but I like I just look I like the, the way they used to look is completely different. Like the, I mean a lot of people have said you've probably heard this before, like but like today, right, if you lined the whole if you line say ten of the top bodybuilders up on on a stage and, and covered that face, it would yeah. probably be quite hard to, to identify who was who. You know what I mean? Yeah. They but if you, up. yeah, if you um lined up, say like bodybuilders from the seventies and eighties, you'd be like, right, that's Arnold, that's Dean, you know, that's Samia, that's like Sergio. That do you know what I mean? Like you you would be able to tell a lot easier. And I just feel like um it's because of like. The way they trained, they didn't rely on like, they didn't like pump themselves full of shit, mm-hmm. you know. They just trained hard in the gym, and they sort of built up their sort of unique, unique, unique body because everyone's obviously unique at the start. Yeah. Um, everyone's got different genetics and stuff like that. That's they good. built up their sort of like genetic potential, um, and their uniqueness through like through hard training, and they, they didn't. Like rely on on gear and and different things. It wasn't so scientific. I don't think like back then. You know what I mean. And I think again, that's why a lot of them look different. Yeah. You know what I mean. You know. There's a lot of truth. Yeah. Thank. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. 
Aye. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, so we've talked a lot about your foundation in regards to your program, your strength yeah. levels, how it progressed over time. Did you, especially um, for, for most of your career, would you say you've used and depended on the five by five? Or is this something that you've changed program wise? Hundred percent. They are like definitely like and I always go back to it as well, you know. Um because I feel it's just work it just worked, you know, like and it still works now. You know, like so if I want if I wanna gain more size um and get stronger, I'll always go back to, to three days a week um training, five sets of five. On most things, you know, um, so like, I, I, I've, I've definitely, like, depended on it, and it's, like, it's definitely been like one of the best sort of discoveries, like, for me, um, in, in training. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just been so good, and I, and, and that's why I promote it. That's why I always say, it. people like messages like, how do I get bigger? How do I like get stronger? And I always say, it, you know. Just train three days a week, um, and do full body routines. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because again, it's all in my opinion. It's like because I've done it myself, yeah. and it's worked for me. Do you know what I mean? So it definitely will work for others. Again, especially like like youngins, like natural, natural, naturally up and coming. Do you know what I mean? Just wanting to get in, get stronger, get bigger. It, it definitely works. You know. But it's hard work. It is hard work, you know. Um, and sometimes, you know, they lift like the squat, the deadlift, and that aren't enjoyable. Do you know what I mean? They're like the hard. It's hard work, you know. Absolutely. It's like, um, you know, I, it, it, and, and especially with this type of training, like, I've had the messages like this before. Actually, like, oh, you know, like I'm not getting a pump. Like I don't really get pumped up, but I don't, you know. And, and it, but it's not about that. Do you know what I mean? It's not about getting that that pump on. It's about recovering enough after a set to to lift out heavy weight again mm. do you know what i mean so i mean that you can have like up to five minutes between uh between sets you know yeah you'll see if you're squatting or benching or whatever you could sit there if you wanted to for about five minutes um before you hit that lift again you know because it's all about being recovered enough to lift that that heavy weight again it's completely different to, to say Doing a, a sort of it's a, a sort of like a, a bodybuilding split where you do like sets of like eight and ten and and stuff like that. You're gonna feel pumped up off that, but with this, it's 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 in the middle. Like this is what that's why I love like five sets of five. Yeah, like it's not solely on strength. You know, it's where like, you're doing like one to three reps or whatever. It's a lot. It's just strength based. Yeah. Um, and say like bodybuilding is like you know like eight to twelve reps like hypertrophy. You know, it's it's nigh on in the middle. You're doing yeah. five reps, you know. So you obviously you're going to build that strength, but you're going to build size as well. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which which well, that's, that's what I love about it, you know. Uh, but I, it's been it's been the absolute like core of, of of me training since, like I say, about like 22, 23, because it's it's always worked for us, you know. And I'll I always go back to that. And like even like say Arnold, like. Like a lot of people don't know that obviously like, like most people know now that obviously Reg Park was his um his mentor. But when was it like Arnold was like 17, 18, I think, when he went to Reg, started training with Reg? Mm -hmm. What do you what do you think that he was doing? He was doing full body workouts, yeah. you know, three days a week. Because that's what Reg did. Do you know what I mean? And that's what that's what he that's what he was doing, and that's how he built that size, that foundation, do you know what I mean? Um, so for me personally, like I say, because I've done it myself and it's it's worked for me, that's definitely the number one sort of go to for building um size and strength, definitely, you know. Plus, as well, like, like your appetite just goes through the roof when you're training like that because it's all compound movements, basically. You know, you're using like a lot of muscles in one lift, and like I say, like, you, you, your appetite. You're just always hungry. It's your stomach's like a black hole. Honestly, like you, you go to bed hungry, you wake up straight away. Oh shit, I'm hungry. Like it's like 
you just all <laughs> always eating, you know, um, because your 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 body's using that much to, in in that session. You know what I mean? Um, on that so note, you are sorry. On that note, you know, yeah. um, you've, you've talked about the five by five. How you've basically used it throughout your whole career, especially to build. Um, and I can also imagine that you mainly use that when you were natural. Yeah. Um, your size. And you said, it's funny because um, Reg said the same thing in his book on the 5x5, five five, that you just have to eat, right? What is, or how would you describe your, your eating, especially back when you were a natural? Um, yeah, what was your eating like? Well, for me, I was always, I've always been lean, right? I've always been like sort of skinny and lean, you know? Um, like from since I can remember, I've always had abs. I've always been just dead, dead lean. So my metabolism is quite high, you know. Yeah. Um, so literally, like anything, anything and everything. Honestly, like especially when I was like coming up, like I would be just scrunning and scrunning, like anything. Like honestly, it would be anything. Um, loads of milk, like full fat milk, you know. Uh, how many liters a day? Oh, two and a half. Like then, then two and a half liters. Like I um, used to just look, I look. I used to drink that in the in the gym as well. <laughs> yeah, I instead of water, I was just guzzling this full full fat full fat milk. You know. Believe it or um, not, the bodybuilders in the sixties and seventies used to take a, a liter or two of milk in the gym too. Did it? I, yeah. I never knew. I never knew. Oh ah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like literally everything like, um, like but just like a, a lot of this time as well, it was a, it was like like proper dinners as well, you know, chicken chicken dinners, you know, Yorkshire puddings, potatoes, you know, just a lot a lot of stuff like that, pies, you know, like steak pies, mince pies, just like just a lot just a lot of like dense food, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, pastas, you know, meatballs. Like bolognese, um, but then if I if I wanted if I wanted something like trifles and stuff like whatever ice cream, I would just be eating it. You know what I mean? Like honestly, like um, is that the right way to do it? I, I don't know, but like I say, it worked for me. You know what I mean? Like basically, like my eating, like coming up like that, I, I just ate anything. You know, anything I wanted, I, I would have it. You know, it just like like I say, my stomach was just like a a black hole. I would take a mouthful of food and it was like literally digested before it got into my stomach. Do you know what I mean? I was like, shit, I'm so hungry. Do you know what I mean? I was just eating and eating and eating, you know? And so like, I literally anything. Um, How about eggs? Are you, are you, were you a fan? Are you still a fan of eggs? Oh, uh, massively, yeah. Like, I used to guzzle them. Um, like raw, obviously used to used to watch Rocky, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like growing up with the raw eggs. Um, I used to mix milk with that, you know. So yeah. again, milk with that, the, the eggs. Um, I used to call it like a poor man's protein shake because really? it was just like it's just so easy. You know what I mean? So cheap, so easy. You know, crack twelve eggs in, some milk in, and a pint glass, stir it up, and, and just drink it. You know, um, eggs a dozen. Yeah. Uh, a dozen. Six. I used to do six eggs, and I used to do six eggs again after training. You know, um, so I like a dozen eggs. Um, but Every day. yeah, man. That's it, man. That's so, it. Again, basically, like basically, like like I say, just just whatever I fancied because they, like, I just could never fill the uh, the whole the whole. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. it was mad. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're young, man. Especially when oh, no. No. I remember when I was young, at my twenties, because I'm now 41, believe it or not. Yeah. And um. You didn't look it. You didn't look it. <laughs> when I was in my twenties and, and building up, I was I was actually doing the 20 reps uh, squat program before I did the five by five. Oh, um, I've read about that as well. Like, I've um, I'm actually I, I want to try that. Like, I want to try and do it. Like, like. Brutal, the breathing, man. the breathing squats. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Expanding the chest and building the whole body up. Yeah. Uh, just like you said, man. I remember once I was at a party after training, and a crowd gathered around because I had—I'm not exaggerating—five 
pans of steak. And people just did not know where it went. And that's the thing, man. When you train that hard, you know, like you're, you're stating. Yeah, yeah, three, three times a week, full body training and going all out max. I mean, you can down, you know, a gallon of milk, dozens of eggs, kilos of meat. It's just, it, as you said, you just can't feel the hole because God, it's yeah. God hungry, you know. You're right. You're right. And then um, I remember I... Uh, I, I met John John Park in America, you know, and I remember asking him, like, what did Reg eat? Like, what did he eat? And he was just like, oh, he just he ate anything. Do you know what I mean? And everything, you know what I mean? And I was like, ah, oh, like, you know, like, and I, like, again, it goes back to, I feel like a lot of the time, I mean, obviously, like, the, the sort of knew about eating meat and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, probably relatively knew about like carbs and things, but it. I think it, it, it come. It came down to more so how hard they trained, you know, um, in the gym. And I, I feel like, like, like well, I mean, what are people saying now? It's like, was well, it like eighty percent diet or something, and like twenty percent, um, the gym and that? But I, I feel like it's it's not it's not as much. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, obviously. In, to to get to to get comp ready to get like inch you've got to obviously you've got to track things you've got to you know do it properly like you know but to to gain to gain size you know as long as you're eating enough you're eating things and, and like you're training hard and heavy doing compound exercises especially young and natural you're going to gain like you're, you're going to gain you know what I mean definitely you know I agree with too, you. I feel like I feel like it's too scientific now. And I feel like that's that's what confuses like a lot of people. Mm. You know what I mean? Like the internet, you go on the internet and there's so many different ways. You know, don't train three days a week, no way, it's wrong. You should train this way, then no, you should train this way, you shouldn't train that way, you should train this way, but then you shouldn't train this way. And it's like, shit, like what do I do? Like, I think it's like it, it's too too sort of complex now. You know what mm. I mean? Um what people should do is just like train hard, heavy. Eat enough food and get enough rest. Do you know what I mean? Um, and and try and forget about so like like it's it's too scientific now. Do you know what I mean? It's it's too sometimes you know it's like it's like you feel like there's that much. It's just that much of like much knowledge out there. Mm. It, it 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 can get a lot like really confusing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Um, there's something wrong with your video camera. So, I'm not sure if uh, you can see yourself, but I can't see you talking. I can just see a freeze frame of your face. It's kind of a... Oh, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. I don't uh, know. Uh... Can you press the, the video camera sign on it? And maybe it'll yeah. refresh your video. And now... Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Is that it? Hi. <coughs> Excuse me. All, All right, right, man. So, we've had... Um, an hour now. Are you, are you comfortable Ooh. with the screen? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, need, I need the loo like. I'm not going to the loo like, but... Uh, Sorry, you wanna... it's right? Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll um, stop this, quickly save it, and we can continue then. Sound? Wicked? All right, man. I'll call you back. Well, just let me know when you're ready. No worries. See you later, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> If you'd like to learn more about the old school techniques and methods of the silver and golden era champs, such as Don Haworth, Steve Reeves, Chuck Sipes, and many more, please visit my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, where you'll find out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this very first interview that I've had with Liam. Um, I thought it was a great guy, and I really enjoyed my conversations with him. Um, in subsequent videos on Liam, I, um, I actually asked many of the questions that you posted, you, the fans, the audience, posted on my posts uh, on YouTube and Instagram, questions that you wanted answered by Liam, such as questions on nutrition, his training principles, body part, specific body part training questions, such as um, detailed abdominals routine, etc. Um, even questions on steroids and, and whether he's going to compete. These will all be answered in subsequent videos. Um, that I'll be posting on my channel very, very soon. You can follow Liam 
on his Instagram handle, Liam Kelly, 1987. Here's a screenshot of his Instagram. If you've enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal. Uh, you can become a patron or you can visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding. And please get in touch with me if you want to pass on your mags and books as I always keep adding to my collection. You can also take full advantage of my collaboration with NSP Nutrition using the code GB20. And you can also help Liam out as well because he's also with Old School Labs. You can either use his code Liam Kelly 12 for 12% 12 discount, or of course my code my code Bookworm 12. Again, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.